Hey guys, CB Super. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get the noise out of your footage using the free version of DaVinci Resolve. But before I even jump into this, if you haven't already subscribed, I make a bunch of videos on how to use DaVinci Resolve, Unreal Engine, Blender, you know, stuff like that in order to hopefully up your digital arts game. Now I am in the studio version, but I'm gonna be using the free tool that comes with DaVinci Resolve. In order to use it, we are gonna to have to jump over to the Fusion page. So let's go ahead and with your playhead parked over the actual clip, go ahead and hit the Fusion button down there at the bottom. That's gonna jump over to the Fusion page. And I know that this might look a little complicated, but we're really only gonna add like one or two nodes. All right, so with the media selected, go ahead and hit Shift Space Bar in order to bring up the Quick Tool Select, type in the word Remove and then hit enter. That's gonna bring up the remove noise tool. Go ahead and take this with your left mouse button, just drop it into the viewer. You can also use the one key to put it into the number one viewer. You can even click these little black circles on here and that'll also put it into the viewer. You're gonna to need to know how to go through the red, green, and blue channels. And to do that, just click on the viewer and then hit R, G, or B on your keyboard in order to cycle through. C will bring you back to the full color view. And if you can't remember that, you can always come up here to this little twirl down, left click, and you can actually choose the individual color channels here. You'll notice there's also this one called alpha, which just shows you an alpha representation or transparency representation of your image. Image. We won't be needing that today, but if you were looking for it or you accidentally get put on that, that's how you get back. Just hit the C. Over here on the right-hand side, you can see this is the inspector. This is where you change all the details inside of each one of the nodes that you have selected. You can see if I click over to media in, it gives me a different set of details over here. Whereas if I click remove noise, it now is the remove noise tool. I can turn the remove noise tool on and off using this little red button up here on the top. And you'll notice that in under method, there is two versions. There is color and chroma. We're gonna start off on color and we'll finish up on chroma. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the tool so I can show you how this works. First thing you're gonna do is hit R on your keyboard to go to the red channel. And if you, again, can't find it, just come up here and click on the red channel. Press space bar to start to preview your image. You'll see that there's quite a bit of noise probably in your red channel. You can actually cycle through the channels by hitting uh, red, green. You can see how much noise is in the green channel and then blue channel. There's almost always going to be a lot of noise in the blue channel. So let's go back to the red channel because that's the one we're going to start off in. And if you look over here to the right, you see softness red and then softness green, softness blue. The way that this tool works is you go channel by channel and you soften all of the grain in the actual channel. And then you bring back some of the detail using this detail red, detail green, detail blue slider. And it's a balancing act to see how much much of the grain you can get out, but still be able to bring some of the detail back. So we're in the red channel. So let's go ahead and start off with the red. And I'm just going to start sliding this off to the right. You can see that I still have a bit of grain in the red channel. So I'm going to slide it all the way to the right. And I can see that still, I see some over here off to the right. And there's some over here close to the flame. It's not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and right click in here. And it says 0.01. I'm going to type in 0.02. Hit enter. And now you'll see that it is very soft now, which actually is what we want. So let's go over to the detail red now. Now, and I'm going to start slowly sliding the detail red until this part over here looks better. If I go too much, I'll start to reintroduce all of the grain back into it. And we don't want that. We don't want to bring all this grain back in. So again, it's a balancing act. Soften the right amount of grain and only bring enough detail back to make the detail sharp again. All right, so that's red. It looks pretty good. I can still see the flame. I can still see the candle. I'm gonna go ahead and hit G on my keyboard to go to the green channel. You notice it changes a little bit. I can see I got maybe a little bit more noise out here in some of this. So let's go ahead and start to soften some of the green channel. You can see some of that went away, but it comes back as the candle flickers. I'm gonna take this green a little bit further until it's very soft. And it looks like I'm actually gonna to have to push it a little bit further. So I'm gonna go ahead and go 0 0.02, press play. And that looks pretty good. So now I gotta bring back some of this detail green. Green. I'm gonna go ahead. I can see the candle pretty good now. That's good. I can see it's a little soft here. That's okay. Maybe I wanna bring it up just a little bit more. That doesn't really buy me too much on the detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and push it back so that I get rid of all of this grain. And again, you're just playing with it, you know, just to see how close you can get it to where you don't see any grain in that channel. And then you're gonna go ahead and switch to the next channel. So blue channel, we know there's a, quite a bit of noise in this blue channel. So let's go ahead and take this blue channel. I'm just gonna slide it all the way because I know I'm probably gonna to have to go to like 0 0.04. I see a little bit of grain, but uh, you know, that's an acceptable amount. So let's go ahead and start to dial in the blue detail. All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and let's switch from color over to chroma and we can see what we have going on here. So let's actually go back to the color mode where I think it's going to work the best. So here we can see there's a bunch of grain here in the luminance channel or in the luminance of the image. So as we push it up, we can see that it softens, softens, softens. We might have to go all the way up and then you're going to want to give it some detail to bring it back down. 
Now we are noticing that there is a little bit of haloing here. I'll show you how to get rid of that here in a little bit. Um, the detail slider will obviously get rid of some of it. So again, this is always a give and take when it comes to this tool. You're gonna have to give up something. You might give up a little bit of that luminance grain in order to get some of that detail and get rid of that haloing. So let's just push it a little bit further. That looks pretty good. And then chroma. So chroma is kind of funny in that it's a little easier to see if you actually pause the video. You can see there's a little bit of chroma here, the little blue, red. Um, you see this like splotching. To get rid of that, you take this softness and you generally just turn it up until you don't see it anymore. I still see it, so I'm gonna go ahead and push this up to maybe 0 0.02. And that looks pretty good. It looks like the coloration has gone away. And then now it's just a matter of, you'll notice there's some haloing here. So we wanna get rid of that halo. All you gotta do is push that detail slider all the way up and it gets rid of most of that halo. And if you have to even go a little bit further, you can type, type in uh, like 1.5 and you can still keep playing around with the actual halo just by pushing the chrome and its detail up a little bit. So maybe somewhere right around there. It looks pretty good. Now we wanna be able to check uh, how well our noise removal actually worked. So in order to do that, we can actually use the AB comparison or the swipe up here. So just left click up here where it says switch to split wipe view and left click that, take the remove noise, maybe put it in the right and then take your original footage and just put it in the left. And now you'll be able to see how much noise you actually removed. And look at that, that is absolutely amazing, is it not? So one thing you wanna take into consideration is that you may lose a little bit of detail. We didn't lose too much detail here. Really, actually, this is a pretty good uh, rendition of the actual amount of detail that was there. If for whatever reason you did lose too much detail, you can always add in an unsharp mask. Now that doesn't really bring in new detail. It just sharpens the detail that already is there, right? It adds a little bit of sharpening. So shift space, type in unsharp, and bring that in, load that maybe on the right side here. Usually <laughs> I wanna bring the size down. I usually will drop this gain down in half because what'll happen is you'll get this like really weird haloing on the side and it's kind of hard to deal with. Sometimes that can bring you back a little bit of detail that you might have lost. That's gonna be more important when you're doing with like hair or any kind of fine details where you just need to be able to have a little bit more sharpness back. All right, let's go ahead and let's do one more example. I'm gonna do this slightly more realistic shot. Let's go ahead and jump over to Fusion and we're gonna go through the exact same process. We're gonna look real quickly to see where all of our noise is. So I'm gonna go ahead and press play and I'm gonna click on the viewer and I'm gonna hit the R key to look at the red channel. Not too bad, I can see there's a little bit of noise here in the background. Hit the G key to look at the green channel. Not too bad, green actually looks pretty good. I could probably just skip the green channel altogether. And the blue channel. If we look back here, we can see there's quite a bit of nastiness in the blue here. And then I'm gonna go back to the color channel and I'm gonna hit pause and I'm gonna come back here and look. I don't know if you can see this on YouTube, but it's quite a bit of difference in the chrominance. Uh, we see a lot of this green and red splotchiness. That is something that we're definitely gonna wanna take care of using the chrominance slider. So let's go ahead and shift space and we're gonna go ahead and bring in the remove noise tool. Load this into my viewer. And let's go ahead and jump over to the red channel first. I'm gonna move a little bit quicker this time. And let's go ahead and up the softness. I can still see it's jumping a little bit. Maybe go ahead and up it a little bit more. Mm, I could probably up it a little bit more, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. And then I'm gonna start bringing back some of the detail. And we can start to see that we're reintroducing a little bit too much noise. So let's bring it back down, maybe right around there. I might actually need to bump it up to 0.2 and then bring it down to maybe somewhere around there. And I think that looks pretty good. And we still have a good amount of detail. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to the green channel. Take a look at the green channel. There's a little bit here, but there's not a whole lot. I will go ahead and remove just a little bit of the noise in the green channel, maybe somewhere around there and then bring back some detail. And that'll do. Let's go ahead and jump over to the blue channel where most of this noise lives. And that looks pretty bad. Even in her hair, we can see there's quite a bit of noise, right? But this is where the worst parts of the noise is. And this might be one of those instances where it'd be better to get a more aggressive remove noise for the background. And then we can have a less aggressive for the foreground, but that would require us to do some more rotoscoping, which I'm not willing to do right now. Let's go ahead and soften this up quite a bit. And we can still see there's a little bit of flickering. So maybe we'll go 0.5 and that looks pretty good. Now let's just bring up the details. Right around there, I can still see there's a little bit of noise, but again, it's a game where you have to play, you know, you're gonna have to give up something for something, right? So I'm gonna go back to the color channel and I'm gonna jump over to the chroma side. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into the luminance. And I don't see a whole lot of noise in the luminance of the video image. So let's go ahead and we'll bump it up a little bit. 
and then let's go ahead and bring up the detail. That looks pretty good. It's definitely less flickering. The chromin inside, we can see all that blotchiness, like that should all be one color. So we wanna definitely crush that. So let's go ahead and lift that. It got rid of almost all of it. It's very close. Let's go ahead and type in 0.5 and that looks pretty good. And now let's just take this chrominance and the detail slider and turn it all the way up and that looks pretty good. Now let's see how much of the detail we actually lost. And in order to do that, again, we're gonna come over to the AB slider. We're gonna go ahead and take this remove noise, maybe put it in the left, put this one, put it in the right. And let's take a look. Just looking at the book, I can see that it hasn't really taken off too much of the detail. We've lost a little bit of detail in her hair, but it's not bad. But look at how much better the actual noise looks in the background. So you can, especially in the chrominance, we can also see a little bit of the detail is lost in the background, but it's not gonna be very noticeable. But one thing, if you can see all of the, the chroma shift there versus here, look at that, it's really apparent. So. That works pretty well. And again, if you need to bring back some of that detail, you can either do that in the remove noise tool by bringing back a little bit more of the color detail sliders. Maybe we need to bring back just a little bit more. You can do that. Or you can try to bring in an unsharp mask to bring in just a little bit more of that. Again, you gotta go really light with that unsharp mask. You don't wanna do too much. So let's just try the unsharp mask and see how well it does. And again, I like to just half all of this just off the get go. And then now let's go ahead and A-B test it real quick. So it definitely brings a good amount of sharpness back, which I didn't even realize that we didn't have. So we could probably turn it back up. Let's go ahead and undo this. That's pretty close. In fact, you can see there's actually sharpening already on the image. That's the original image. So if you add sharpening to uh, another image, that already has sharpening, you know, it's just gonna get worse, right? So ideally make sure that if you're shooting the video, that sharpening in camera sharpening is turned off. I get it, you know, sometimes you just get footage and you, you know, it is what it is. So uh, just a little tip there, you know, you can always add sharpening, but it's very difficult. You can't really remove sharpening once it's baked into the video footage. Okay, well, that is pretty much it for me. I hope you guys got something out of this. I hope that at least now you have a little bit more confidence in the remove noise tool. It's absolutely free. It's in DaVinci Resolve. And if you use the free version of DaVinci Resolve, then really it's just free equals free, right? So everything still remains free. There is a couple other options out there for you. If you're interested, you can also come over here to hit film. I have not tried this, so I can't really recommend it, but I know that if you pay the $19 fee here, what is it for the regular content creator? They do have the edit repair. And if you come down here to edit repair, it does have denoise, grain removal, and even rolling shutter. For just $19, you could have a pretty decent removal tool. Again, I have not tried it, so I cannot say whether it's good or not. If you've used the hit film edit repair and you've used the grain reduction or the noise reduction, please let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious to see if hit film has come as far as I think it has. But you know, the other option is uh, 120 bucks for neat video or $295 for the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. Of course, DaVinci Resolve has a bunch of other things for that $295 and some of them are amazing, but I'm not here to sway you either one way or the other. It is what it is. This is how you use the free noise removal tool. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Thank you.